Welcome to Research Business Daily Report, made possible by RBDR's exclusive community at the crowdfunding platform Patreon.com. Please visit Patreon.com forward slash RBDR and join our community yourself. I'm Bob Letterer. I have to admit that for all the stories that respected research agencies have shared with me in recent years about how deeply Qualtrics has hurt their businesses, specifically spiriting away longtime customers, I've known very little about what that company is all about. That is, until I had the opportunity to speak with Justin Ethington. He is self-described as a thought leadership market researcher at Qualtrics, and he sat down and he spoke with us. Here is part of what Justin shared with us. The goal is that Qualtrics wants to become the apple of market research. What exactly does that mean? We want to make research accessible to everybody. Um, and the way that you do that is by making hard things easy, right? Just like a lot of companies do. Apple is one of them. Um, but research traditionally has been something that has been kind of scary to non-practitioners because it's dealing with statistics and a lot of uh, very strict methodologies for research. And we want to make sure that you feel comfortable doing research so that no longer do you have to be a PhD to do it or someone like that. You can be a product manager or a marketing manager or a coordinator, someone like that who feels very comfortable doing research because we've made those tools easy to use and understand. And DIY is the other kind of foundation um, that, that, that is uh, central to everything that you're doing. Yeah, that's exactly right. Because you know, re research used to take a long time because it would you would start a project, execute a project, finish a project, and then try to learn from it and change. But research doesn't work that way anymore, where it's a constant feedback loop. It's not start, start, stop. It's on all the time. Right? And so that's what DIY is really getting about, where you need to be actively listening to your customers and your employees all the time, not just some of the time, and making iterations based on that. We're building tools right now that help you do research, very advanced research, and you don't even know you're doing it. For example, uh, we can be doing finding relationships on the back end using regression, um, that our tools are grinding out all these, all these relationships and finding relationships when the, the researcher might not even know they're doing a regression. They just know that they're finding relationships. One of, the, um, one of the features that we've come out with very recently is called Expert Review, and it will actually read through the survey that you've written, and it will provide PhD-level tips on how you can increase the accuracy of your survey or improve your methodology. It looks for double-barreled questions, or it looks for um, bias, or it looks for different question types that might not work with that particular survey. So, and this is out now, so we're already seeing how AI is making a difference in research. That's your Research Business Daily Report made possible by members of our exclusive community on the crowdfunding platform, Patreon.com. RBDR is produced thanks to the generosity of regular viewers like yourself. Your support of our daily news videos allows it to continue. We always acknowledge our latest RBDR patron, and today we're proud again to thank InfoTools for their support and their appreciation. Which leads us to ask you to please join the community by visiting patreon.com forward slash rbdr where you can select the level of patronage that is most comfortable and suitable in your mind. Please do and have a great research day and we'll see you back here tomorrow.